Hello and welcome to RTR TV. Um, what I thought I'd do today is an experiment. Not in my garden, I just wanted to get out because it's such a glorious day. And uh, we're like two days away from having the mega heat wave, which is going to like be the hottest uh, day ever in Britain, they reckon. We'll see. But uh, what I thought I'd do today as a way of an experiment, bought me wood gasifier. Sorry, I'm on my roundabout, you know, and I'm quite close to the road. So what I was going to do is use the wood gasifier. So rather than having the wood pan that way in, I'm going to put it in that way and use my uh, Trangia burner, see how that works. See how that works. So here it is. Obviously I'm not going to use, uh, I'm not going to do a fire in here because it is very dry. But I'll stick with the Trangia burner because you can have good control of that. So yeah, let's see what happens. I've got this mesh. I've made a video before and I used the mesh, this mesh on there. But this time I'm going to try using the trivets that come with the wood gasifier. See how that works. What I'm going to cook up um, is this cheesy pasta, mac and cheese basically. And I got the idea, I thought I'd have this, because during the first lockdown um, I watched um, my film of the lockdown was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Brad Pitt's character Cliff Booth plays an uh, ageing stuntman to Rick Dalton's washed up actor you know and they stuck together through the years but Cliff goes into his trailer and cooks up some mac and cheese and I thought oh, that looks quite nice <laughs> so I thought I'd buy the same sort of stuff I bought a drop of milk with me I've got a little bit of butter in there so we'll see uh, see what this tastes like Don't know how long that's going to take. Don't know if the, tri the trivets affect it in any way. Like I said, when I cooked a steak, I think it was on um, one where I went to Chidden Down. Um, yeah, I cooked a steak using just just the top half of this, but I think the burner was too close. So I don't know if the trivets are going to affect this. We'll find out. In the fullness of time. Let's get the coffee ready. So yeah, the wood gasifier with the Trangia burner. Looks like it's doing something. Yeah, quite liking that. Just gives you another option, doesn't it? You know. I mean I like you I like using the proper Trangia. But it is very bulky. Uh, whereas the um, Bushbox XL takes up hardly any space. I mean, obviously, this is a little bit bulkier, but it's also handy that you can it, it can double up as a Trangia burner and a wood burner. So that's a nice little feature of it. Yeah, it's going good now. Going good. I've got the Trangia, one of the Trangia pots in the handle. Let's see what I've got to do. I know I should have bought my glasses. Cook the pasta in boiling salted water for seven minutes. Well, I haven't bought any salt. Then you've got to drain it and return to the pan. That's when you put your milk and your butter in. Mix it all up. And serve immediately. Mm. Get this in. That's your cheese mix. And it says it feeds free. Can't imagine that to be so. But then again, it probably it probably swells up quite a bit, doesn't it? There you go. Your macaroni and your cheese sauce. And 
be good. Must start bringing more glasses with me. Right, how much water do I need to put in there? Doesn't really say. Doesn't say how much to put in. So let's just cover it. I've got to boil that for seven to eight minutes, I think it said. Seven to eight minutes, yeah. As soon as this bottle that is. Gonna work with that. That's good. I think it worked better than last time. I don't know what, what it was. But it's definitely better. It cooked a lot quicker. Boiled a lot quicker than it did, shall I say. Right, let's get this on. <clears throat> I don't know if I should have boiled the water first before I put that in, but it's on now, isn't it? And I'll bring you back when it's nearly done. What the hell? Hang on. Lots of bits falling from the trees. Not branches, just bits. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll bring you back when it's done. Or when it's nearly done. And you're starting to boil. Probably put too much water in there, but you got to drain it all off anyway, ain't you? So, oh, there's a great big bumblebee over here. He's a big one, big drone. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> they always used to sting me when I was a kid. Bees and wasps, don't know what it was, but every year, guaranteed, I would get stung. Look at that. Well, here it goes. It was about to go. The only problem I can foresee with using the gasifier is the stability of it. One thing the bush box has got over this, it's a lot more stable on the ground. So it's been eight minutes at least. Let me taste a bit. Just a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Then I'll put the milk and butter in. Being careful not to kick it over. Yep, yeah, it's done now. So now I'm going to drain it here as much as I can. Should have bought a strainer with me, shouldn't I? Oh, this handle gets hot too. Tell you what. Just use the back of my plate. There you go. Drain away. Oh, still losing a bit there. Okay. I think that's it. I think we got it there. Right, so what's it say now? Add the margarine, the butter, semi skim milk, and the cheese sauce. So let's get what's left of this butter out. It's probably all melted. Yeah, that's all melted. So, don't know what that is. I don't want it in there. Buttering. What's left of that? Take that with me. Mix that around. 
around. Let's move it out. Let's move out there so you can see what I'm doing. And then some milk. I don't know how much milk. I'll do that for now. Add a bit more if I need to. I need to get the old bit ox out. I don't want to um don't have to put more fuel in. I'm hoping it's enough. Here we go, cheese sauce. And that's all gonna come with me of course. Let's put it on. And turn you up here a bit. And then mix it all around. Look at that. Till the cheese sauce melts, I guess. Mac and cheese, Cliff Booth style. <laughs> I love that film. Quentin Tarantino's ninth film. I like Quentin Tarantino's films, and I do really like that one. Once upon a time in Hollywood. It's like the Lone, it's like the Lone Ranger and Tonto story, but you know got the actor and his stunt man who were stuck together for years. Brilliant film. Mm. Oh yeah. That does taste nice. Give it a little bit longer. Might need a spoon to eat this actually. Spoon might be better. Only cheese. I used to have this. I used to go. Um, my mum and dad never ate anything like this when I was growing up. But I used to go around a friend's house. His mum was actually a teacher in the school we both went to. And I went round. I used to go around his house quite a lot. And they'd always have mac and, macaroni cheese. And um, we always used to put ketchup on it. And I absolutely loved it, but my mum and dad never cooked it. Because my dad was a very fussy eater. You know, never ate any, um, just uh, roast dinners. Even then he didn't hardly eat that. He was a very picky eater. So you never would have had anything like this. I think that's going to do, actually. I think that'll do me. Now I've got to try and put this out, get these trivets off. Oop. Let me get rid of that. Actually, I could do that, take the whole thing off. That's better. And then I can just do that. And it's out. Just like that. Right, let's clean your plate off. <laughs> then let's dish this up. I'm going to use a spoon with this. Get away, mozzy. Horrible things. Oh, yeah. I thought it might expand a bit. Sort of stuff always does, doesn't it? Mm. So there you go, mac and cheese. At a once upon a time in Hollywood, Cliff Booth style. Mm. Right, let's try this. Got the spoon in the end. That was too big a mouthful for something that was so hot. Try a little one. Oh yeah. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to let it cool down a bit. <clears throat> That's hot. Mm. <clears throat> it's very nice. First time I've had mac and cheese like that. So thank you, Cliff Booze. We'll prep it. Mm. Nice. Still got a bit of coffee left. Says how close I am to the road. So yeah, the wood gasifier and the Trangia burner. Does it work? You bet it does. Works really good actually. Like I say, it's not as stable as the Bushbox XL because it's obviously the Bushbox XL is round, covers a bigger base, and this is a lot smaller. But yeah, it's good. I see I put everything away in the bag. Damn mozzies. There's more mozzies here than there was in the new forest last week. But uh still got some milk left over so I'm gonna drink that. Don't wanna waste anything. Mm -mm -mm. Almost left that behind, buried in the leaf litter. I'd be lost without that, wouldn't I? So, uh, yeah, the old um, Trangia spirit burner and the wood gasifier stove. Brilliant combination, works well. I like it with the trivets because it lifts the pot up from the um, top of the stove a bit, so that's good. Um, and it works well, so give it a go if you want to. Um, and uh, obviously the mac and cheese, Cliff Booth style, Brad Pitt. <laughs> that was nice and filling. It probably would serve three actually. It took me ages to eat it, but I don't want to waste anything, so so there. And anyway, on that note, thanks for coming along with me in this wonderful place on the roundabout. I'll see you next time when I'm roving about, wherever it may be. See you soon. Bye. <sighs>